Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? My name is Tony Rizano, and this is episode 300 and something of the world famous The University Love, the best podcast in one, two, three galaxies. But, ladies and gentlemen, you and I, we just call it Online Marketing Moves, and we are coming to you live today. Today is July the 21st, 2021, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I need to go back and do a real count. Of all the episodes we've done and um figure that out so we can give an accurate so we can give an accurate count on a regular basis, you know. <clears throat> when I filled the thing out, since it was a new year, I put, you know, season three. Cause that no cause as you you well know, you've been listening from the word go. As you well know, we started off this podcast. We had a new we had a different name. It was what was it? The lousy no the affiliate party. That's who we started off with. The affiliate party. But then we got some artwork done. So we changed the name. Then we I said, you know what? This is gonna be the start of season two, because the new name, new facelift and everything. And then since it's been the first year, I thought, eh, this is we could call this season three, you know. But you know, I just like to know what episode number, because you know, that way. 10 years from now, I can say we're on episode 3,000, 3,000 something, you know, whatever the podcast. So, you know, people are, so you can go back to, you can go back to, and I actually need to start, I actually need to get to this habit. I need to start archiving these episodes. So that way I can tell people, if you want to know more about blah, 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 or if you interview, we interview blah, 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 episode, go back and grab this episode, you know, so. Definitely need to start working on that, you know. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, today we are not here to talk about counting episodes, counting sheep. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here to talk about why you should create the content that you want to create and don't worry about, don't worry about if it's good or bad or not. Because a lot of the times it's all about interpretation haitian ladies and gentlemen okay and now the reason why i said this because today my wife and i we went to a van gogh exhibit here in the great city of atlanta georgia you know we went to the we went to the great city of decatur where everything is greater so they say we went down there we went to the museum me my wife mother-in-law we all moseyed on down Went, looked around, you know, and I knew about Van Gogh. I knew, he, you know, this guy cut his ear off and everything, but I didn't really know a whole lot. But then I, when I got there and I read his bio, you know, he died. He was like 37 and he he did a lot of drawings and he he did a lot of art from, you know, the time he was, I guess, 17, 18 till, you know, he died. He did a lot of art. Did a lot of drawings, did watercoloring, things of that nature. And, you know, I was sitting there looking at the drawings and it, it it finally hit me. It finally hit me. And I said, you know, no matter what you do, whether you write, whether you podcast, whether you, whether, whether you produce videos, it's all considered art. You know what I mean? It's all considered art. And... Sometimes you will think, oh, this is crap. This is this, that, and the other. But for you, it might be bad. But for other people, they're like, I love it. I enjoy it. I like it. I want more of it. And so you have to get over the fact about you haven't, don't, don't feel like you have to be perfect. Don't feel like the content's not good before you put it out. Put it out there, you know, do, do a little work. You know, if you have to polish it, you you know, like if you write and you want to edit it. Yeah, of course, edit it. Don't get me wrong, but publish it. You know, don't be afraid of not publishing it. Like it, it's all interpretation. It's all it's 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 never like because listen, that's that's one thing about if you ever go to Amazon, if you ever bought, bought a book and you see the reviews and you're like. If you see a thousand reviews and all of them are like five store, then more than likely somebody, somebody, somebody paid a thousand, <laughs> somebody paid for all these reviews. You know what I mean? Like there's always going to be somebody 
you might like a movie, you might like a TV show, you might like a book. And there's always going to be somebody who's going to say, ah, nope, didn't like it. And ladies and gentlemen, that is going to happen now. It's going to happen today. It's going to happen tomorrow. It's going to happen five years from now. No matter what you come up with, no matter what you produce, it could be the best thing ever. There's always going to be somebody in the world. Doesn't matter who. Somebody's not going to like it. And it's not a big deal. You know, it hit me so it hit me when I was in the because I'm looking around and I'm like, oh, Van Gogh. I was like, oh, he drew that. And then I was looking at it and I was like, I like that. And my wife was like, eh, that's OK. And I was like, oh, I really like that little art piece, you know, and uh, it was like a woman in a field or something. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. It's kind of interpretation, you know, and I'm like, that's it. Like, that's it doesn't matter, you know. Yeah, because even like let's say a ter what's 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 the most what's the most terrible movie you ever saw? Like the movie, uh, what, it was a movie and it got so many bad reviews. Like Battlefield Earth, I think there was a movie with like John Travolta. He he, it's like a Ron L. Hubbard Hubbard, Hubbard book, and uh, people would just criticize that movie and people thought it was bad. There was one person I knew, my brother. God bless him. He, I said, did you see that movie? He was like, yeah, it was pretty good. And I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah, it was pretty good. I said, I heard the reviews. I heard it was terrible. He's like, you know what they talking about? I thought it was pretty good. It was cool to me. I liked it. He's like, matter of fact, I watched it twice. I'm like, oh, sh you watched it twice? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, oh, okay. So there's always somebody that's going to enjoy it, you know? So don't think especially if you're in the beginning stages of like, if you're in the beginning stages of anything, like don't expect it to be perfect. You know, like I know there's very few people who come out with an album and it's like the greatest thing ever. And then, you know, it's <laughs> like, I give you an example. Nas, Nasir Jones, ladies and gentlemen, he came out with the first album, Illmatic. Illmatic is probably his best album the most revered album to this day, you know, and that was his first album. Okay. Very rarely happens. And, uh, very, very rarely that's that going to happen to people. You know, some people, it takes them, takes them a little while. Some people, they don't, they don't hit perfect until, you know, maybe five, six albums, you know, some people never hit that perfect shot, you know, but it doesn't, doesn't matter. You know, the point is it's interpretation. Everybody's not gonna like it. You, you see it. I mean, you see it like a you see a YouTube video. Somebody posts a YouTube video. Five minutes later, somebody hit the dislike button. They haven't even watched the video. It, it's it's crazy. It's ridiculous, you know. But it's just how people are, and it's interpretation, and it's it's a feeling, you know. It's not it's not what you're doing wrong, you know. So don't think all oh, the material I put out is crap, you know. No, 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 no. It's not that. It's people interpret it different ways. Look at a guy like Tyler Perry. I don't know if you ever watched the Tyler Perry movie. I have. <laughs> Some of his movies are hair scratches. Some of them are not that bad. Some of them are definitely hair scratches. But he has an audience, you know, like people. Some people, they love every single movie. I don't understand it. You might not understand it. But, hey, there's an audience. He's found his audience. They like his stuff. He He writes for them, you know. Me and you might watch the same Tyler Perry movie, and I'm and I'll say, look at you. You look at me, and you'll say, this is pure d garbage. But the person next to us will probably be like, ah, this is the greatest movie I've ever seen. And ladies and gentlemen, it's all about interpretation. It's not about is it good enough? Is it put it out there? You know, like put it out there. Don't worry about oh, I, I misspelled this. I I didn't do this. I didn't do that. I should have did this. I should have done that. The more you're stuck in fear, the longer it takes to get to the point where you want to get to. And we all want to get to a point where we are in a position, we are making all the monies, we, you know, spending all the time at home, working from home, you know, in the full-blown entrepreneurship. You want to get there. And the more content you produce, the more things you start doing, the faster you will get there. You know, yeah, your first course might not be the greatest, but don't worry about it. Improve on it make it better if you don't think it's good make it better make it work you know but 
somebody will buy that course, your first course, and they'll be like, this is the greatest course I ever, t- I ever took. Interpretation. Ladies and gentlemen, do not think it has to be perfect, you know? All that Van Gogh art I saw, some of it I was like, okay, cool. Some of it I was like, eh. And then my wife <laughs> hit me. She said, look at this. And then it said, top five paintings sold by Van Gogh. Of course, this is after he probably deceased, but one painting was like $88 million. So somebody thought that this painting was worth $88 million, okay? Somebody somebody else would come along and think, I wouldn't give five nickels for that painting. But somebody thought it was worth $88 million. So ladies and gentlemen, never think that the content that you want to produce or the content that you have produced is good, is terrible. Somebody out there in the world will enjoy it. And ladies and gentlemen, before we go, we I, I will discuss price price with you again. Speaking of speaking of price, ladies and gentlemen, if you happen to charge nine hundred dollars for a course, and somebody complained, and you have you have like let's say you have fifteen people a month buying the course, twenty people a month buying the course. Congratulations, okay? That's like $9,000 a month. That's okay. That's good. Good, 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 good. But if you have one person that says, you charge too much, oh my God. Listen, block them. Tell them, hey, you either buy it or you don't. I don't know what to tell you. But never give in when it comes to your prices, you know? You make a price. You you set a price. Stick to that price. If you think, if you think it's the right price, then go for it, you know? It, Give it a few months. If you see it in a few months, nobody bought it, then, you know, maybe you might want to scale it back a little bit. But in the beginning, stick with your price. If people are buying it, definitely stick with your price. You know, if you, I mean, if you sold somebody a pair of, let's say, Jordans for $1,500 and they bought them, then, hey, they valued them. They value the shoes at $1,500. If somebody else comes along and say, I wouldn't pay a, a plug nickel for these shoes, then you just have to look at them and say, I'm not selling you the shoes, pal. Okay? I'm selling them to this guy who wants them for $1,500. Bucks. So when it comes to price, set your price how you want to set it, you know? Don't be so cheap where everything is cheap, 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 you know? Because it's very weird, you know? You ever go to a... It's like... You ever go to a restaurant and there's nobody at the restaurant and, and you'll be with somebody and they go, Man, this restaurant must not be no good. Ain't nobody here. And it might be the greatest restaurant ever, but the, the perception is nobody's in there can't be good, you know? It's uh the same as, you know, you go to these little restaurants and people, will... I'll give you an example. It's this restaurant in Atlanta. They sell crab. They sell crab legs, crab meat, you know, all this kind of stuff. It's called the Juicy Crab. It's okay restaurant, but people get in there and and they they cater to like celebrities and all this kind of stuff. So they 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 post they post a bunch of pictures with celebrities and stuff. They're like, hey, look at so and so, he's eating here, blah 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 blah. You know, to me, the food, eh, it ain't worth the money. I went once, never never going again. But some people, they're like. I spend two hundred dollars at the juicy crab, blah 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 blah. Hey, to them the meal's worth two hundred dollars. For me, I'm not gonna buy it ever again. That's just me, and that's how it goes. You know, if you have a restaurant, you set the price, people w- willing to pay for it, go for it. You know, not everybody's gonna be like, hey, I'll give y'all my money. You know, not everybody's gonna be like that. But once you get an audience, you get people to buying it, then go for it. You know what I mean? Like, don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed to charge somebody uh, a high ticket, a high ticket item. You know, like don't be ashamed to to make a sale like that. You know, don't be ashamed to charge somebody five hundred dollars for a course, or don't be ashamed to charge somebody a thousand dollars a month for 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 coaching. You know, like don't be ashamed. You know, if you if you you set yourself up, you can put yourself in a position to where you have a known a name a known a known name a name brand. You know, like go for it. You know, I'm not saying. You t- rip people off, you know. Of course not, but if you could charge a fair amount, what you think is a fair amount, and people are willing to pay, then do that. All right. But ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the podcast. We will be back tomorrow with all new episode of online marketing moves. But until then, 
My name is Tony Zano. Thank you for listening. And before I say, before I hit the close on you, be sure to go to the Facebook page, like, follow, online marketing moves. All right. But until then, my name is Tony Rizzano. Thank you for listening. And as always, everybody, peace.